you know, this may be the only Magnum rifle revolver combo in the whole series that doesn't make me flinch. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll have an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. And when I was a kid, I dreamed of this moment. And uh, no, I'm not talking about the 9422 because it was not introduced until to, uh, 1972. And in 1972, I was in Southeast Asia honing my craft as an air traffic controller. Uh, but th I'm talking about when I was a kid, a real kid, <laughs> about 12 years earlier, and I was reading all of the uh, all of the shooting and hunting magazines, Outdoor Life, Field and Stream, Sports of Field, um, probably one I missed in there, and I love to read the ads. And I would look at ads like this for the Mossberg 640. And what you're looking at right here is actually a screenshot I took off of off off the interwebs, but I did buy that image, and I bought this image as well. And so they're actually I didn't buy the images; I actually bought the pages. And so they're being shipped to me, um, the actual pages out of a magazine. And I used to look at these, read the articles, read the ads, and the idea of a 22 Magnum to a kid like me of 10 years old who only had an old Remington 510 single shot 22 long rifle that my uncle gave me made the 22 Magnum sound like a howitzer. One of my dreams since I was a kid. And now I've got one and boy, this one is really sweet. And uh, I think you have shown it briefly on the channel before, but uh, it is a very nice, fairly early 22 or 9422M from 1975. Is it a howitzer? I don't think so, but let's compare tw two cartridges, a uh, 22 Magnum Maxi Mag right here, and in the Marlin 39A, we'll shoot a Mini Mag, and we'll shoot at two colored water bottles right over there, and we'll see if we can tell the difference in impact. Does this guy live, live up to his um, reputation that I thought he had back when I was a kid? But I've got the 9422 sitting right there, and the first shot I'm gonna do is gonna be on that yellow water-filled water bottle with the mini mag. And let's see in slow motion what kind of splash it makes. All right, let's try the maxi mag on the green water bottle. Okay, if you'll stick around till the a uh, little bit later in the video, we're gonna do that exercise again with just the 9422M, 22 Magnums. I'm gonna shoot one more round here. We're gonna do this in super slow-mo, and we'll do one round here, and then we'll do one round here, and then we'll do one round here, and then we'll do one round here, and we'll see where the 22 Magnum runs out of steam, because like I said, it's not a howitzer, but this is going to be a combo video, and I should have said something earlier, but I have right here in a uh, repurposed um, holster from my, from my High Standard Victor, I have my original Pawn Shop Single Six from 1968, and, uh, and it is loaded up with, you guessed it, 22 Magnums.
So there is a there is a great combination that actually works. But I want to show you something because there is a I want to say a very good application for the for the uh, 22 Magnum revolver. And and these are 22 Magnum Ratchet. So everyone has phobias, right? And uh, I've got some of them listed right there on that steel target. But the first thing I'm going to do is put a bunch of little bitty holes in that water bottle. Now let's see what happens to snakes, spiders, and gremlins. All right. Let's see if we can even poke a hole in that one. Okay, so a uh, rat shot, especially out of a um, out of a rifled barrel, just doesn't have a whole lot of punch. But in fact, I didn't show you. Let's take a look. So I don't know if you've ever tried to shoot at a snake with a revolver, but it's really hard. It's really hard to do. And I actually I don't shoot at snakes anymore. I kind of just let them go. But but then there's spiders and gremlins. There it is. Did I shoot all the rounds in here? I'm not sure. But let's put one more on the spiders. Okay, we definitely, we got all three of them. Spiders, snakes, and gremlins. But uh, the Ruger Single Six, it's a fantastic gun. Now with that said, let's step back up to the bench and uh, shoot some more targets with the 9422M. Okay, and those shots that we just put down there that I called rat shot, Federal calls them bird shot. Number 12, little tiny dose of number 12 shot. But before we shoot this guy again, let's shoot the, uh, the single six 22 Magnum. But I'm gonna take the opportunity right now to show you guys through close up the unloading process and of course I have to do half cock that's two clicks on the on the uh, three screw one two three screw old model Rugers and then then with the ejector rod I just push out the old ones and then let's load some new ones and you heard me talking about load one skip one I load one, then I skip, leave an empty there, and then I load the other four. There you go. Now, with this closed, cock that, let the hammer down on an empty chamber so there's no bullet underneath because I went ahead and finished cocking that. After I put the last bullet in, let the hammer down, it's on an empty chamber within the cylinder. So, so there's no danger to a strike here, causing the round to fire. Okay, now let's see if I can put anything on steel. <laughs> well, that really took care of the gremlins, the spiders, and the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was trying to hit one of those water bottles, but I should have known better. Um, But as I continue to develop my single action revolver shooting skills, maybe I'll get to the point where I can hit that water bottle um, with ease. Let's do one more group. And if you guys and girls haven't yet experienced the uh, slower pace of the uh, single action revolver, I gotta tell you, it really makes your mind 
slow down, brings you to a simpler time. I'm going to wax philosophical here. Um, actually, not any longer. But it is still, even though it is not a pow, 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 it is still a ton of fun. It's just a little bit harder to shoot. Like I said, harder to shoot. <laughs> okay. Let's load up the 9422M. And by the way, the, the M obviously is a designation for the Magnum. And this older model actually has a steel inner tube. I'm not really sure when they changed that, but uh, it is prone to rust. And so if you've got one of these older 9422Ms, then you have to be diligent about, about some uh, rust preventative measures. 12 rounds. Now let's see what we can do. Okay, I have not touched the sights on this guy, so whoever had it before me, and by the way, they shot very, very few rounds through the 9422M. Um, the sights are right on. Now, let's do what I was talking about earlier, and let's go down there with, uh, with this guy, and we're gonna start on that red water uh, bottle. Okay, there's just way too many flying insects down there for the super slow-mo, so we'll just do slow motion and hopefully it'll give us still the right kind of look. So we're gonna start with the red water bottle and then we'll move to the right. I'm not sure that it ever ran out of juice, um, but you've seen the slow motion. I haven't, but uh, I'll tell you what, I was impressed. Even with the one gallon water jug, I kind of expected just kind of a splat. What a great pair of guns. And uh, you know, I may, not, I may not be able to improve on the uh, combo series as I get bigger and bigger in, cart in the cartridge size. Uh, as far as fun goes, may not have more fun than I did with the 22 Magnum. And you know what? I'm ready to get out of this sun because we are under a dire heat warning. I'll see you in the next video.